prediction, correlation and causation, people often confuse correlation with causation. Simply because one event follows another, or two factors go vary, does not mean that one causes the other. The link between two events may be coincidental rather than causal. There is a correlation between the number of fire engines at a fire and the amount of damage caused by the fire, the more fire engines the more damage. Is it therefore reasonable to conclude that the number of fire engines causes the amount of damage? Clearly the number of fire engines and the amount of damage will both be due to some third factor, such as the seriousness of the fire. Similarly, as the divorce rate changed over the 20th century the crime rate increased a few years later. But this does not mean that divorce causes crime. Rather than divorce causing crime, divorce and crime rates might both be due to other social processes such as secularization, greater individualism or poverty. Students at fee-paying private schools typically perform better in their final year of schooling than those at government-funded schools. But this need not be because private schools produce better performance. It may be that attending a private school and better final year performance are both the outcome of some other cause. Confusing causation with correlation also confuses prediction with causation and prediction with explanation. Where two events or characteristics are correlated we can predict one from the other. Knowing the type of school attended improves our capacity to predict academic achievement, but this does not mean that the school type affects academic achievement. Predicting performance on the basis of school type does not tell us why private school students do better. Good prediction does not depend on causal relationships, nor does the ability to predict accurately demonstrate anything about causality. Recognizing that causation is more than correlation highlights a problem. While we can observe correlation we cannot observe cause. We have to infer cause. These inferences however are backward necessarily fallible, they are only indirectly linked to observables Cook and Campbell, 1979, 10. Because our inferences are fallible we must minimize the chances of incorrectly saying that a relationship is causal when in fact it is not. One of the fundamental purposes of research design in explanatory research is to avoid invalid inferences.